Hi there, it's Nina Nandagopal at almostpractical.com and today I'm going to walk you through my planner stack that I'm going to be using for the second half of 2020 starting in July. And before you judge, yes I do have nine planners here and each one has a different purpose and I want you to think about it this way because this is sort of how I justify this in my mind is that when you're in college or in school, you typically have a notebook or a folder or some type of paper keeper for each one of your different classes. You don't typically throw them all together into one notebook. And the way I use my planners is a lot like notebooks and how I arrange the different parts of my life. So I have nine of them and I really think they're really going to be helpful. So. Let me walk you through how I plan to use these. And I'm just gonna kind of push them out of the way so I have a little bit of space to show you each one. So I'm gonna start here with the most important one. I is This is an Erin Condren Daily Duo Planner and I do have a review for it which I will link up here. But the Daily Duo is a one page per weekday layout and two pages on the weekends. And I really think I'm moving from an hourly into this and there's a couple reasons that I think this is going to be really good. First, I can still get the overview of what I really liked about the hourly was the two page per week spread in that I could see the whole week at once. But I'm going to make heavy use of this monthly view and make sure I have all the important notes like the appointments and events and things that I can't forget. I'm going to use those on this monthly overview so that I don't lose sight of those. And then the daily pages just give me a lot of space to plan out the hourly things that I need to do and my to-do list as well as make notes and things like that. So I think this is going to work out really well and I'm going to move out of the, the kaleidoscope hourly that I was using into one of these. The second planner is the is the Erin Condren teacher planner if you can believe. I'm not a teacher, I'm a blogger and I need to plan out my content and I'm going to be using this coiled planner as my content calendar. Now I have to wait until August to start this because I did pick an August start for some reason. I don't know what I was thinking but I decided to go with the August start and I think this is going to be a great way to plan out the articles that I write and then oh, I already have stickies in here and then use each column for the usually I work on four to six articles a week I don't publish four to six articles a week but I have them in progress so I can list out the articles and every day make track keep track of what I've done where I've left off and where I need to pick it up at again because there's some days that I work on it and then it might be a couple days before I get back to it. So this layout and having one column per article is going to help me a lot. So this is really just my editorial calendar for my blog and that's how I'm going to be using the Coiled Teacher Planner. The next planner that I have is an um, Erin Condren life planner in the hourly layout and that's what I was using as my main planner this past six months but I got this in the flower power thinking I was thinking that I would actually use it in conjunction with this daily duo but instead I think I'm just going to have the one daily duo so I'm not going back and forth between different books for my daily work but one thing that I do do a lot of with my blog is social media and plan using this flower power hourly is going to be really nice to plan out. Sometimes I do affiliate promotions where I need to post to different platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Sometimes I just have interesting articles to share, but I want to be sure that I'm sharing things out consistently, not repeating things too much. And even, and I do use a scheduler for a lot of my social media, but I feel like this will help me be a little bit more hands-on with that because when you use a scheduler, sometimes you're just totally removed and then you don't get a lot of interaction because it's just, 
it's just published automatically. So I'm going to try using this one for a social media calendar. I just love the flower power and I had to get something with it on it because the flower power is gorgeous and I could not resist getting that. The next one that I'm going to be using is the Erin Condren Monthly Planner and that just came out for planning out my email for my email marketing for my blog. I have a subscriber list and I typically send out two, one to two emails a week to my subscribers. And planning out that content is important because I want it to be valuable to my subscribers. I don't want to repeat myself. Um, I want to have a good communication with them. So this monthly gives me the monthly view where I can plan out what emails I'm sending and set a few goals if I want to on these productivity pages and then map out the content and map out some of the automations that I have set up. Sometimes we do little challenges, we have a morning routine challenge and so I can map out how that works if somebody decides they want to participate in that. I can make sure they're getting the right emails and that I have it set up correctly in my email service. So this planner will be very very useful for that. I'm also using a monthly planner, a second one, and I have it, I got both in the layers neutral because I really like that pattern, as you can see, but I'm using a second monthly planner for the YouTube, YouTube videos. I do a lot of them like this one that I'm recording right now, and this will help me storyboard them, collect my ideas, and plan out when they're going to post because I do need to be more consistent with my YouTube videos. Right now, I just sort of post them when and as I record them. So this will be very helpful. Then I am using an academic planner, an Erin Condren academic planner, to keep track of my coursework. I do a lot of online courses, a lot to do with blogging, but I do also some craft courses, hobbies, things like that that I want to learn about, and I will be using this to track my progress with those classes. Next, so the next planner that I have in the lineup is the Hobonichi Techo. And I love the Hobonichi Techo size. I love the cover that I got for it. This was just on Amazon. And if you're not familiar with the Techo, it's sort of a one page per, per day. And it's an A6. So it's just really, you know, the paper is thin, but it doesn't, it doesn't bleed. And it has the whole year in one book. And my intention at the beginning of the year was to use it as sort of a memory book, which I did until all this coronavirus stuff started. And I fell off sort of the, the habit of doing it. So I'm hoping it has a little month in the beginning, but I'm hoping to start that up again. I wish I had continued it regularly because what I was doing was just putting one memory from that day on each page and it would have been a really cute little memory book and I have one of those Canon IV printers so I can print out a photograph and stick it in here and really just use this as a, a little memory book. So I love the Hobonichi Techo. I'm going to start up with it again and I will probably get another one for the new year as well and when December hits because I really want to give it a good go next next year. So that's the Hobonichi Techo. Then I have one the one thing that I want to keep track of a lot is health and wellness. And so I use the Petite Planner system. I like to journal. I like to track what I eat and how much water I drink and how many steps I get every day. So there there's all kinds of inside petite planners. There's so many that you can switch the books in and out for. So I'm constantly moving these around, putting a, a different one in here and there. And I have a couple actually of the, the folio covers as well. So I will be using the, the petite planners for health and wellness. And finally, for bills and home budgeting, I am going to be using this, this big teacher binder, teacher planner binder. So it's similar to what I was using the content calendar, my blog content calendar, except that's a coiled teacher planner. This is a binder version. And so with bills and, and things like that, I can 
open up the binder, I can slide in papers where I need them. I can put folders in to capture, keep track of bills and what I plan to do across the top. And I'm, I have a whole different video for this, so I'll link it here. But I'm going to put the different accounts across the top, you know, checking, savings, any credit card accounts, investment accounts, all that kind of thing. I'm just going to put them across the top. And then every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I can record any activity, deposits in or withdrawals out, charges on the credit card. I think that's going to really help me stay on top of my spending and make sure that I stay within my budget. So definitely using this as a budget book, a home budget book. So that's my planner stack and it's, it's a lot. I know it's a lot, but I think it's going to really help me stay organized. I like that I can, whenever I'm working on one thing, when I'm working on the budget, I can pull out this one, this planner and put everything else away and I have everything that I need in one place. And when I'm working on my blog, I pull out my content calendar. When I'm working on everything, I can stay focused, which is really, really great. So to recap, budget binder in the teacher planner binder. My daily is here. This is the, you know, this is my everything. This is going to keep, keep track of all my regular time spent and my to-dos. Wellness is in the petite planner. Memories are in the Hobonichi Techo. Academic Planner is being used for courses and online courses and learning. The Monthly is used for YouTube videos and the Monthly Planner also is being used for email. The Daily, um, the, I'm sorry, the Hourly Flower Power is for social media and the teacher planner coiled is for my editorial calendar for my blog. So that is the 2020, second half of 2020, the fresh start planner stack at a glance. I hope this has given you some ideas. You certainly <laughs> may not need as many planners as I put together here, but you might find that one, one may not be enough. Uh, I kind of like to keep things separate. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Nina Nanda Gopal. You can find me at almostpractical.com where I write about organizing and productivity and of course lots of Erin Condren reviews. If you enjoyed this video, I would so appreciate a thumbs up and also um, would love for you to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today.